Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we are going to check fresh release from Special Hobby, it's 148 scale aircraft and as you can see this time it copies up SK-37E, it's so called Stir Vegan and as you can see it's also written here that it's electronic warfare aggressor, it's two seater and now we have a chance to check it closer. Let me remind you that we are gathering money for the new camera and you can help us by pressing the donate button on our website. It is easy, it is done via PayPal, so it should be relatively safe. And of course you decide the amount we will get from you. As for the kit, it is a commercial sample, let's say, so you will get exactly the same package as what you can see in this video. Here you can see comparison with my hand, it's not that big box, it's a typical size for 48 scale kit from Special Hobby. And here on the side you can see that model is made in Czech Republic, surprise. On the other side we have some safety information, also address of the manufacturer and QR code for the kit info page. Then there is nothing on the sides and we can open this box. That's a top opening box. And here's what we have inside. So we have assembly manual straight away on the top and then we have all plastic frames packed into the same plastic bag. As you can see there are plenty of them so we'll check them a bit later. Let's take a look at assembly manual first. As you can see it is typical for a special hobby, so we have it color printed, two short history note in Czech and English, and then on the first two pages we have parts map, as well as paints chart, and also uh, legend for the symbols. Next we have assembly process start, and it starts with cockpit of course, as you can see we'll have to assemble two separate uh, cockpits for pilots. Then we continue with fuselage and air intakes, we continue with rear section, we assemble this exhaust nozzle, then there are wing parts and note that there is one part with separate wheel wells, also we attach separate air intakes and some others might appreciate it, but note that no section should be assembled out of two holes, we will check it a bit later. Here we have landing gear system which is quite complex on vegan. So be careful while assembling it. Then we have here uh, different external elements. For example, here you can see small air brakes as well as here. And next we have canopy attachment. Note that here we have small picture for resin accessories. And I'll remind you that the resin accessories are the same as on the single seater version. So you can order them straight away. They're already available. And I would recommend to get wheels and resin seats because these were the best ones. And then, I mean, if you want better detail, you can get also the thrust traverser, uh, air brake set, and even rocket pod. And here we have marking options. Here, as you can see, there are four of them. Then we have detailed profiles on all those four marking options. Paint numbers are given in Gunzi designations. And here we have stenciling guide for this aircraft. Don't forget that this is a 148 scale, so it's worth investing your time into the stenciling procedure in order to get a more or less realistic appearance on your vegan. Now I'm opening this plastic bag and we will check all plastic frames one by one. Just give me a second. But first on the top we have decal sheet together with PE thread. So we'll open them first and check them closer. As far as you can see, P fret is made in Edward, so you can expect really nice quality. Just a moment. Okay, so first I would like to show you decal sheet and then we will check P fret. Let's zoom in. Of course, the decal sheet is printed by cartograph. Here you can see small symbol with it. We have all necessary symbols for four marking options, as you remember. Also here we have different stencils. Everything is printed carefully and really nicely. But as you can see, there are no decals for the cockpit. So if you would like to have more detailing in your cockpit, you will have to install this PE set, which is provided with this kit out of the box. As I said, it is made by Edward. We have here all necessary parts for the cockpit panels, dashboards, seat belts, and other internal stuff. And I think with careful application, you will get really nice result. Just be sure to get the same um, paint shade as what you can see here on those parts, because 
uh, we can all agree that different shades might look a bit weird. Then we have separately packed transparent parts. Here you can see canopy for the second seat, which is placed right behind the frontal. And as you can see, it can be positioned in um, open position. So it will be up to you if you would like to get aircraft with open cockpit or you would like to close both canopies and have aircraft ready to fly, some say. And then we have separate plastic bag with more clear plastic parts. Here you can see those canopy parts for the frontal section of the aircraft. Those look quite nice as well. And the only thing I would recommend to get here masks because masks are not included into this kit. So you have to cut them by yourself or maybe order some aftermarket set for those nice parts. Next we have grey plastic sprue. Here you can see parts for seats. As I said, seats will be the first ones who will have, um, which will have to be assembled uh, into the aircraft. And they are quite detailed for standard out of the box version. But as you remember, you can also get resin replacement for those. And of course, resin will be even more detailed. Now I'm trying to figure out, okay, so it is like this, how to remove this plastic sprue. So here it is. I will zoom out so that you can see whole frame. Here you can see that this is the rear section of the aircraft. Here we have special slot for air brakes. This is a half for the fuel tank um, thrust guiders, let's say. Also here you can see landing gear wheels. And note that each landing gear wheel should be assembled out of two halves. So as I said before, order resin replacement from CMK in order to have a really nice result on your aircraft. This is a 148 scale kit, so it's worth investing into such addition. Next we have this plastic frame. Here as you can see we have new top part for the double seater. Also here is another cockpit base for this uh, section of aircraft as far as I can guess and of course the dashboard. Um, external detailing looks quite nice. I will zoom in so that you can see it closer. We have recess panel lines, riveting looks good and of course with careful painting you will get really attractive. Um, aircraft. Inside we have position elements, here we have pins which should help you with properly proper alignment of those elements together. And then we have another grey plastic sprue. Here you can see this huge exhaust nozzle which should be assembled out of several parts and note the detailing, I mean out of the box you can get really nicely detailed parts so I wonder if it's worth replacing it with something. Then here you can see landing gear doors and here is the rear section of the fuselage. Again you can see recess panel lines, riveting is present here as well and again here you can see the slot for air brakes. Molding quality is really nice. All attachment points are thin enough in order to carefully separate those parts without damaging them. So I really doubt that you have any problems with them. Next we have Another plastic sprue, here you might be surprised because we have single-seater uh, top version, top cover of the fuselage. This one of course won't be used, but you have to use this cockpit base, uh, dashboard, also wing parts and of course nose parts. As you remember, nose will have to be assembled out of two halves and that's not the perfect parts division, but still, I mean, you have to cope with it. And I would recommend to be careful because it's the most visible part on this aircraft. So it's worth not to hurry and assemble nice um, nose section. I wonder if CMK will release resin replacement as a single piece part, let's say. Here you can see air intake fan, also fuel tanks again, landing gear doors, uh, frontal wheel well part. Also here we have landing gear OX and everything looks quite fine. I mean even those small parts are molded nicely. I don't see any flesh around them. The attachment points are thin enough in order to carefully separate these parts of the sprue without damaging them. So I think you won't have any problems here and overall work will be quite pleasant, let's say. Next we have bigger plastic sprue because here we have 
wing ports. These are top house and note that flaps and ailerons are pre-molded so you won't be able to position them separately. Also here we have wheel wells which are molded as one piece part. This one as far as I can guess is a right one. And inside we don't have that much position elements. There are position pins inside those uh, wing parts but again it's better to be really careful while gluing them together. As for the top sections here you can see them and I think that's not not a top section that's actually the tail fin which should be assembled out of two halves as you can see and again we have position pins inside. Um, overall molding quality is relatively the same as what we saw on previous parts and last but not the least is this huge plastic sprue lower wing half again as I said ailerons and flaps are pre-molded so you won't be able to place them separately frontal section of air intakes another wheel well part and here we have the tail wings as far as you can guess so that's all for this video review as you can see we have quite nice kit from special hobby and as you remember one seater single seater was quite nice and now we have a chance to get a double seater as well in the same scale so you can get it from official special hobby website immediately it should be available there and of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit, write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual, bye!